<laughs> Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, Forty. Today we're doing part two of the custom mold making, right? This is not take one, unfortunately, which means I've glued our, uh, our blank to inside of this square, right? Or this uh, mold tray, if you will. Uh, the only thing that I did in the first take was glue it in. I had already made the box and I explained it. So let me go ahead and re-explain how to make that box, right? We've got a close-up camera here. I've got some acetate sheets here. This is like a plastic. Now these are a bit uh, thick. Ideally, maybe one size smaller would be easier to work with. Just a, just a hint, a heads up, right? I'll leave a link in the description for the easier one, huh? Uh, so. What do we do with this? The first thing that you wanna do is you wanna take a piece, right? And then you're gonna use maybe a T-square or a ruler. And this is of course not, <laughs> this wasn't done very well. I don't know if you could see this black marker here. So I, what I did is I put the blank in here. I measured a little bit on each side, a little bit. Now this is a bit big, huh? Like there's too much room around it. It means we're gonna waste some silicone. It is what it is, right? But ideally you should have it a little closer. Keeping in mind though that when you put the other pieces with glue, there has to be enough room. So if you, you make it too tight, then these won't fit when you build the walls, right? So how do you cut this? Let me just go ahead and show you real quick. Now you could take one of these. You don't have to use this. You could use a ruler, uh, the L square or a T square. It just works easier in my opinion. And what we're gonna do, let me show you on this camera, is we are going to find a spot like so. And of course, we could mark this with our Sharpie. We don't have to though, because we're just gonna go ahead and cut it. Now holding this down very tightly, just uh, pull slightly, right? And just pulling slightly, and this might sound a little bit irritating, like a, like a chalkboard uh, scratch or something. And you're just gonna keep running this over the same part a few times, right? Trying to get almost all the way down. And let me take this, uh, the pieces off that came from this tool move that out of the way, show you, and you see that you have a scored piece of uh, uh, plastic like so. We can't break this with our hand. However, we could take this over here at the edge of the table, hold our hand, putting the cut edge on the edge of the table, and, and then hit it down. When we do, boom, look at this. A perfect uh, slice. Now sometimes, right, when you do that, and actually maybe it was like so, or maybe it was like this actually. Look at this corner right here, right? It's because I didn't score it all the way to the end, so this corner is not perfect. That's not actually a problem because you could put glue and fix it, whatever, not a big deal. But of course, you could go all the way through. I'm just showing you an issue that can arise, right? We're gonna move this off and really, super simple, one more thing, right? Using a glue gun, all you do is put a bead of glue, etc., hold it together, and then it's gonna make itself done. Now when we put our model in this, uh, in, in our, our, our mold container or box, I don't know what we call it, right? Uh, this thing is a little bit, uh, I don't know if convex or concave, but it's uh, curved a bit. So it doesn't sit flush on the bottom. Now what that means is when we pour the silicone in here, it's gonna seep underneath on the sides. Don't worry, we, what we'll do is we will fix it. Oh, actually it came undone. So that's not necessarily a bad thing. And if you look in here, let's show you on the other camera, you can see that the, the glue is hard in here, whatever, and I might be able to peel it off actually, hopefully. And it doesn't seem like I can. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put more glue down here, right? And I don't know if this is gonna cause us a problem actually. <laughs> Oops. All right, so let me see. Let's do this. I'm gonna put more glue, I'm gonna flip this up. I'm gonna put more glue in here. So hopefully this thing really sticks to the bottom. There we go, something like that, right? Now we're gonna push this down. Now we're not gonna mess with it too much. Now, another thing I could do is score that bottom surface a little bit. Now, if I had sanded it, that would have been even better because it would have given it a flat surface, but if I scored it a little bit on the back, it would give the glue something to hold on to, et cetera. But we're gonna just press down and we're gonna hope that this stays. <laughs> so, what kind of silicone are we using? We're using a silicone from Smooth On. I'm not sponsored by these guys. In fact, it's a bit expensive, but these guys make amazing casting resin, casting plaster, all kinds of cool stuff. Check out their website, I'll leave a link. SmoothSil 940 is a food grade based uh, silicone. You need to use a food ba ba grade based silicone if you're gonna use this for candy or chocolate or anything that you will eat. If you don't, 
then the silicone will have some impurities in there that it will be picked up from the chocolate or candy. And when you ingest it, it will be bad for you, dangerous, maybe you die, etc. <laughs> so use food grade, huh? This is food grade. This is 10 to 1, huh? On here, let me let me show the other camera. It says right here, mix ratio 100 to 100A to 10B by weight. So we have a scale right here, right? And we're gonna go ahead and uh, weigh 10 to 1, right? And so what weight do we need? Smooth on has a calculator on their website. You could pick what you're using. So pick smooth cell 940. I'll leave a link for this also. And after you enter the dimensions of your, your mold box, as well as your piece, you enter those two things. It's going to tell you how much silicon you need. It told us that we need a uh, 300 and 10, um, 310 grams, right? I'm going to do 300 of part A and 30 grams of part B. And the reason I'm going to do that is that's going to make a little extra just in case. You know, maybe my math was off with my measuring. I took this, I measured, etc. But maybe it was off slightly, so I'm just going to do a little bit more. I'm going to turn off the glue gun because we don't need it right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the scale and let's go ahead and mix this up. I have a plastic cup here. I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to tear out the scale. Let me see if I can give you a better view right on this, the smaller camera. So I'm going to move this over here. And we're going to put this right here. And when we tear it out, now this stuff is crazy. This, this part right here, what we're looking for is 300 grams, right? So it's teared out. And I don't know how you're going to be able to see. Like it is serious business, right? It doesn't want to come off. And so we put it right there. It says we got 57 grams. Let's go ahead and take another big chunk. And this stuff is not easy to move, huh? So when we're mixing up, we are going to have some fun because you have to make sure all of this is integrated. The good thing is the liquidy stuff is a different color, right? And so we got a little bit up here. Now we're at 223. Let's see. We need 80 more. Hopefully that's 80. So, we need 17 more grams. Maybe this is it. Actually, because we're going to need this. So, this is about, yeah, it's about 300. So, we're going to put, put the top back on here. Insert topless joke now. <laughs> oh, all right. Moving this off to the side. And we're going to take 30 grams of the liquid goodness, right? Now, this is another color. It's like a reddish pink. And we're going to put 30 grams of this. So this is all right. So I'm not sure on the working time on this, huh? how many minutes we have before this starts becoming a, a thing. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. I'm going to turn off the scale, move it out of the way. Uh, I'm going to stop talking while I mix this up, and I will put what the working time is in the video because I'll look it up, but uh, I'm sure it's not that short. I do know that it takes 24 hours for this puppy to harden, and as we mix this up, you're going to notice that it's going to change colors, right? And that's how you're going to know that you've got things incorporated together. So I'll shut up and just get to mixing. Oh, all right, so uh, let me show you. If I try to really stir this, that's how strong this is. This is not uh, liquidy at all. This is a very strong <laughs> uh, silicone that's, uh, that's already forming, etc. I mean, it was strong to begin with. Part A is just like this. It doesn't become super easy. Now, the color didn't change dramatically, but I think this is, looks thoroughly mixed. Now, here's the thing. This is kind of like making gummies. If you don't thoroughly mix it, this stuff will either A, not harden, or it'll be sticky, or it will have some other issue. So you really want it, when you think you're done, keep stirring, huh? <laughs> because uh, same as gummies, huh? Or making Starburst or something like that. <laughs> when you think you're done, you're not done stirring. All right. <laughs> I almost died right there. All right, guys. Thank you for bearing with me. Now, what we're going to do is what we're going to try to pour this with some level of height. And what do I mean by that? First, let's try to get this all to one side so it pours easier. All right, something like so. And what we're going to do 
and I don't know which camera I'll show you on this, but is I'm gonna try to start in the corner, right? Where I'm dropping this in, and it, there, if we pull, pour it from a height, like, and slowly, right? We don't want a lot to come out. If we pour from a height, what's gonna happen is some of the bubbles are gonna come out. I have a fan on me because it is so hot, huh? And I realize the fan is pushing this. So let's do this. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I mean, Murphy's Law, if it could go wrong, it's gonna go wrong, huh? So, come on, fan. I, all right, let's see. Hopefully we didn't screw this up. And the thing is, if you pour from a bit of height, what ends up happening is some of the air bubbles will come out and that's exactly what I want. You don't want to pour directly in the 420. You want it to kind of fall into there. That way it will hopefully fill up all the sides. Now, if you have a vacuum chamber, which I do have one, um, we're not gonna use it for this video. This is a really simple mold. I hope it comes out good. If it doesn't, then I'll regret that I didn't use the vacuum mold. But you're gonna see that we definitely used more than we needed to here. And somewhere around here, we're gonna stop. And wow, we, this is, maybe the math was way off because this is not like we just added 30 more grams, huh? It's, it's tons more in here. That's, it is what it is, huh? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna bounce it by picking it up and dropping it. And we are gonna grab a paper towel, not just to wipe our sweat, but also to wipe some of this silicone that's been pouring out the side, huh? Um, you want to wear gloves for this or don't get it on your hands. Those are your options. <laughs> and hopefully, I'm also going to lay some down, paper towel down. And if I lay the paper towel down, then if I make a mess, it will go on the paper towel. This won't kill you. And again, what I'm trying to do is just hit this and it should make some of the bubbles come to the surface, right? And if you could see on the small camera right here, I think you could probably see some of the bubbles appearing on the surface. Now you see one popped right there as I uh, did this. Now again, you need to use some force, not too much. But again, one of the cool things, if we poured this from a height, etc., what should happen, one of the downsides, by the way, because I didn't make these super nice, <laughs> Do as I say, not as I do, is that this mold is gonna be at a slight angle. And so then remember the top right here is the bottom of the mold. So when we flip this over to pour candy or whatever in, we are gonna to have to do something to level it out. Otherwise, when we pour the candy in, it will be at a slight angle. So, okay, the, the point of this, guys, <laughs> the point of this really was to show you the process. And of course, I'm screwing up uh, some of the stuff. But hey, you know what? You are gonna run into those things. And by me screwing it up and explaining what the screw up is, then you understand uh, what to avoid or look out for. If I didn't do it, then maybe you would do it and find out after the fact. And again, this uh, silicone is not cheap, huh? I forget how much this, uh, this two-part system I have here is, but I would guess it's at least 50 or 60 euros. And same thing in dollars is my guess, etc. So I'm just cleaning up the sides here, wiping excess away. You can see there's tons of of bubbles appearing on the top. Let's grab another paper towel. And really what we're gonna have to do now is we'll have to be back tomorrow because this takes 24 hours uh, to cure and we're gonna need to leave it for that time. So I'm gonna just drop this a couple more times. All right, and we're gonna leave it like that. And let's see what happens. Hopefully there's no issues. If there are, we'll see if we can fix them. But I think uh, also having issues is good because if, if you've never come across issues and then you experience them, you're like, hey, what do I do? It wasn't in the video, right? <laughs> anyway, so we'll be back tomorrow and let's see how this comes and we will unmold it then. All right, so we're back. It's about 22 hours. We're two hours shy of the 24, but I think it's ready, huh? And uh, I'd like to get this video done before a little bit later tonight. I have a bunch of other things to do. So uh, this is from inside of this cup, right? Let me show you here. This was in here, it's settled. Now, this is not trash, huh? This, what we can do is cut up into small pieces and if we made a bigger mold, technically, wherever it's not touching the model, we could draw pieces of this in there, right? So save this, it's not totally waste. You could use it for the future. Of course, you could toss it also. So let me show you. It obviously, uh, 
it, it overflowed on one side, right? So if we take this on the side, and you could see it was coming from the top, right? You could see we could just rip this off, right? Now, I had said yesterday in the video that it might be slanted, but it shouldn't be. And I suppose it's because I was a bit high and I was looking at this and I didn't make these perfect on top. But it doesn't have to be because it's self-leveling. The top here should be flat once we take it out. Now, in order to take it out, what you should do is, 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 is start to pull these. Remember, it's held together by this... Uh, this craft glue, which is strong, but it's not that strong, right? So as you, as you can see right here, now of course we're probably, we're, we're gonna break the plastic that made this mold, but that's okay, huh? So, uh, all right. Now you may want, so here's a disclaimer, you may want to wear gloves, you're, you're pushing, and when this breaks, this stuff could cut you, huh? This is, this is a hard plastic. If, if there's a sharp edge and it goes into you, it's gonna cut you, so be careful. Although I'm pretty careful with this. I don't think I'm gonna hurt myself. If I do, I guess it'll be on camera. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> I mean, I've done this many times, huh? All right, so. All right, so we got it out. We didn't have to break the rest of the box, but this will not be reused, right? Let's grab an X-Acto blade. All right, so we grabbed a couple X-Acto blades here. I've got some fresh blades. Uh, I'm gonna take this used blade out. It is always better to use a fresh blade. If you do, it will cut nicer, smoother, etc. right? So we're gonna take our fresh blade. We're gonna put it in this knife right here, and let's go ahead and see because let me show you on this other camera. Huh? Now, if I show you right here, you'll see that the model's in here. You'll notice that it's seeped over, right? Now, this is what we'll do. It will be like this when we pour the mold, but we have to take this out. Now, to take it out, of course, what we should do is probably find out where the edge is, right? So, watching on the small camera because it should be easier, right? So, I'm just gonna start to cut where I think the edge of this is, and I'm gonna go less than I need to go, so that way, uh, because we can always cut away more, but we can't cut away less, right? So something like this. And I'm gonna shut up because we'll probably speed this up, but the point is that we wanna find the edges of this and we're gonna cut so that we can pull it out nice and easy. All right, so we're gonna leave it there. I'm gonna show you uh, closer on the, the small camera. You could see that there's a couple little issues. I am not the best mold maker. <laughs> I know how to do it, I am not the best. There are tons of tutorials like this on YouTube. But anyway, let's go ahead and pull this out and see what happens, right? Hopefully it's not sticky inside uh, because it's not totally cured. But you'll notice I'm just pulling apart the edges. And as I pull apart the edges, loosening it up a little bit, then that's all we're trying to do. And looking on the small camera, we're gonna find that here, we're gonna try to get this out here. And slowly, right? We're not trying to force anything. Something like this. And I don't wanna break anything off. I don't wanna force it. I'm just trying to move, we make little progress, etc. And here we go, right? I don't know what this black thing is in here, but so, boom, baby, right? You'll notice that the, 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 the text, right, is reversed. Obviously, when we put the, pour the chocolate in here, and we could further clean up the edges if we want with the X-Acto blade. Now, mind you, on the corners right here, who cares? It doesn't have to be clean. You could take your blade, for example, and fix the bottom, right? Come across, let's do it on the small camera, come over here and find a place, and then just try to keep it straight and I didn't even do it very well. But the point is that you could clean this up if you want. For me, I'm like, eh, who cares? Now let's go ahead, stop the video, set up in the kitchen, and I can't pour candy because I don't have any more uh, uh, corn syrup. However, let's do chocolate. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Yo, so we're back. I actually recorded myself here with this stove, melting down some deco melts, which are candy melts, right? and some infused coconut oil. But the thing is, my back was to you, so I'm gonna skip that. Basically, that's all I did. I took some deco melts, candy melts, some infused coconut oil, I melted them down, and you'll see right here, I have a bunch of skulls. 
Let me see if I can show you better, right? Of course I'll take a picture. But these are some skulls. Now the reason that I have skulls, you're like, wait a second, this, this video is about our own mold. Okay, I did our own mold too. It's in the freezer right now, hardening it up. When I took these out, <laughs> I have to tell you a mistake that I made and I'm not planning to redo. So when I took them out, these were ready, right? Mind you, the other chocolate is a bigger mold, etc. So I popped these out, they're fine, huh? They're not, uh, they're not wet or anything like that. However, however, here's our mold, right? Looks good, right? The thing is, when I originally took it out, it wasn't ready. So when I started to do this, right? And peel up the top. In fact, I, this must be the side that I took from because when I started to peel this up, it wasn't ready, huh? So you'll see, it's a little bit, um, hopefully most of this comes off. Uh, and ideally, probably we shouldn't have frozen it, but I was trying to speed up, huh? So it's not horrible, it for sure could be better, <laughs> but this is called impatience. If I didn't put it in the freezer, then it, I think it would come out the mold a lot easier, right? But I put it in the freezer, I took it out too early, and we kind of screwed up the face. Let me take a picture real quick, and then we'll try them. All right, so we took a picture. I've got all of them on the plate. I'm not gonna go for the big bar. I'm just gonna take one of the skulls. Number one, the gauge potency, right? I'm not exactly how, sh <laughs> I'm not exactly sure how strong this is, the infused coconut oil, so I figured I'd start here because if the 420 was too, <laughs> if it's too much, then I'll know based on this. I have a good feeling when I eat an edible to know exactly how strong it is because I know what it feels like for me to be at certain milligrams, right? Anyway, you can see all we have to do is clean this out and then we reuse. We could use it for candy, we could use it for chocolates. Now, now <laughs> I try not to be too rude, huh? chewing with stuff in my mouth, etc. Uh, the thing is, this was made with coconut oil, so it's got that coconut oil taste, right? It is what it is. Guys, I hope you learned something in this series, huh? Obviously only two videos, this video is a bit longer than the other, and how to make your own custom-made mold. We can do this with all kinds of things. In fact, we could take everyday objects, right? If I wanted to take, for example, my cell phone, I could make a mold of this. It would just end up being like a bar, right? But okay, we could take other things. As I'm looking around for something to take, and I can't, anyway. We could take a spoon, right? And we can make a mold of this spoon and then, of course, make chocolate or candy or whatever. Guys, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the series. If you did, I'll go ahead. I'm learning Blender right now. It's gonna take a couple more weeks, but I should get the, the chops to be able to teach you guys how to make in Blender a 3D object that you can print and then turn into your own custom mold, baby. Woo! <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you like this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. You know the deal, baby! <laughs>